Hello everyone, I am going to make a presentation on SIS testing and repair deferral about the maintenance requirements. The video is being taken on behalf of instrumentationtools.com and automationcommunity.com. Kindly watch and subscribe. SIS repair deferral. In safety instrumented system, when it is designed, the decisions and assumptions are made which factor into establishing the proof test interval. SIS proof testing is a routine maintenance activity to be performed for SIS instruments at a periodic interval. At times, the proof tests cannot be done as per schedule and in such cases, deferral has to be made according to the IEC standard International Electrotechnical Commission standards. This topic describes what is required when the proof test intervals cannot be met. Maintenance or testing design requirements the safety instrumented system shall be designed in accordance with the maintenance and testing requirements defined in the safety requirement specification. The design shall allow for testing of the SIS either for full system or in parts, where the interval between the scheduled process downtime is greater than the proof test interval, then online test facilities are required to perform testing. So, whenever the fueled process downtime, that means the scheduled shutdown for the plants is more than the proof test interval period, then it requires an online facility to be developed for doing the proof test online. The maximum time the SIS is allowed to be in bypass, repair or testing while safe operation of the process is continued shall be defined. What is maximum time allowed to run the plant without any protection has to be defined. What is deferral? When SIS proof testing is not performed on time as per schedule, there is a possibility to take deferral to certain extent. Deferral process. Deferring test without proper evaluation and approval is not acceptable. The SIS test deferral process is to be followed when delays in excess of the sh defined schedule date. If a proof test is not completed by the end of the month in which it was due and an approval deferral is not obtained, the test will be considered overdue and a test recovery plan shall be developed. There is a certain allowable time limit up to which it can be done. Normally it is one month, but a safe factor it is considered like it is the end of the calendar month shall be like a deadline. If it is not done within that time, then it is marked as overdue, so that additional at attention will be given by the maintenance and operation teams. Okay, SIS testing and repair deferral. A test deferral up to 50% of the prescribed inspection frequency beyond the scheduled test date requires approval by production leader, safety leader, and technical center in charge. Test deferrals beyond 50% but not exceeding 100%. Up to a period of maximum one year require an additional approval by technical center in charge and a plant operation leader. However, one year is the maximum duration allowed for SIS deferral. This is the maximum period the instrument testing, proof testing can be postponed. Verifying deferral. Even though the deferral is an alternate option while not able to perform SIS proof testing as per schedule, precautions to be taken before issuing approving SIS deferral. The test be very reviewed, verified by many agencies and then only deferral can be operated. Review the equipment history. Gain the concurrence of the qualified expert to the deferral. Define the communication plan. Obtain approval signatures for the required leadership levels. Update the required information in the maintenance management system, file the deferral form in the SIS file and applicable LOPA documentation. So, all this history of the particular instruments which is under testing has to be done. So, when repair is needed, at the time of a failure or malfunction is noted, an assessment on the repair is made by the owner, safety coach and the maintenance personnel. Repairs not complete within the time it was due and an approved deferral is not obtained, the SIS loop is considered impaired. So, 
this instrument is continuing to function and the proof test is not done as per the planned schedule interval as well as it went into some repairs and repairs are not ended to so then it becomes a then that particular loop becomes a segment so deferring repairs without proper evaluation and, and approval is not acceptable the sys test deferral process to be followed when the delay is in excess of defined proof testing are expected so whenever the deferral goes beyond the limit and there are certain uh, steps to be followed for taking deferral and it requires a different level of approvals to make attention to the responsible persons and leaderships approval must be attained from the business leader to put alternate protection in place and document in sys records whenever the sys instruments are not available and uh, the plants has to run without uh, stopping the production then it requires an alternate protection so that the safety integrity of the plant is being maintained if essential operation of the process must be discontinued it is required that the repairs has to be done or proof testing has to be done so if it is ultimate to be done then it requires the plant to be shut down for a particular period of time repair deferrals applies only to those sys components which are redundant so whenever there are redundant instruments only the repair deferral process can be applied so this is a deferral approval matrix and the deferral is more than less than or equal to 30 days beyond the inspection due date it is considered to be in compliance when the deferral goes be between 31 to 60 days beyond the test uh, in or inspection due date it requires a unit supervisor and manager approval when it goes from 61 days to 90 days beyond the test interval schedule interval then it requires a site manager approval when the deferral goes beyond 90 days of the test due date then it requires a, a, a approval from the vice president of operations and safety department in charge so why this different kind of approval is uh, in place whenever the sys instruments are taken out of service or the proof test cannot be done due to the continuous function of the plant then the test be given high priority and attention to the top management that's why the up to certain limit the managers uh, the within the plant managers can manage when it goes beyond certain period like more than 60 days it requires attention of the site manager who is a higher level uh, person and he can put uh, more resources or he can take an action by discussion with the operation to do the proof testing or when it goes further extend beyond 90 days it goes to the attention of the vice president operations so that in the particular instruments has to be given an attention or the vice president operation or that plant top level people should be aware that the particular system is running without a proper proof testing so the consequence or probability of dangerous failures happening may be high so these are the reasons why the uh, deferral approval requires to different uh, level of people and whenever the time is getting extended it gets escalated to the higher authority thank you